Well, let's start with astronauts just real quick. So a lot of them came out of the military. Military pilots almost always have a call sign and it's usually given to them by their buddies. So sometimes maybe not complimentary, sometimes they are. Um, so anyway, uh, so flight directors, uh, back at the beginning in the Apollo days when Chris Kraft set up the flight director office, figured out how we're gonna do flight control, they decided they were gonna have um, team names, flight director team names, and then his team, their team under them would, would be that team for that shift. And so it started off as colors, so the first three, red, white, and blue. Easy, right? Um, there's only so many colors on the palette. So colors ran out fairly quickly, right? So by the time I got in there, you know, I could go on the internet, search some color that nobody's ever heard of. Um, so anyway, folks were being forced to shift to what else, okay? So planets, celestial objects, or no-brainers, a lot of those. Um, and so, so I'm trying to figure out what am I going to do, right? So by the time I got there, I was the 76th flight director to get certified. And I was like, okay. And so, you know, I'm looking at how it progressed and the, really what happened the last maybe five years is the shift, you know. I don't want to totally break that, but I don't want to, I wanted it to be cool, okay. So, but also, you know, tied to something that, you know, it meant something to me too, right. So. When I started as a shuttle flight controller, um, we talked about shift work already. Coming in in the middle of the night, you know, shuttle flights were not quite the midnight to seven. It could be coming in at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 1 a.m. Um, so I would be driving into to the control center and I would have um, Top Gun, music from Top Gun playing a little bit loud, but you know, it's what I needed to wake up and get, get myself going. Um, so, you know, that was almost kind of like a tradition for me to get me going for shift. And then if, you know, if you're old enough to know this movie, I think part two is about to come out, but they're all going to be in their wheelchairs. Um, so these guys, so you got the, the fighter pilots, you know, trying to be the best of the best, but then you got the guy in charge of training them. So this is, if you look at, um, his call sign was Viper. If you look at his responsibilities and his role as a leader of these are going to be the best pilots in the world and what does it take, you know, responsibility, discipline, you know, go through the list. Um, I was like, you know what, that represents a lot of what this, this title means and it ties to something that was important to me. So I, and, and what happens is you sit down for your first official shift as a certified flight director. You take the handover from the previous team, and then before you release that team, you announce your, your, your flight director team name. And so mine was Viper. We laid out a little spiel about it, and um, fortunately for me, my, my first shift happened to be an overnight shift, so nobody was there. <laughs> but anyway, so that's the story of Viper Flight. Um,